there's a big event going on once again this Memorial Day weekend at the oceanfront. It combines a lot of surfing with art and here to tell us more about this are Becca Gibbs from the Virginia Longboard Federation and Dina Chinani from Coastal Edge Surf. It's the 11th annual Steel Pier Classic and Surf Art Expo. There's so much going on. It all gets started I guess Friday night but runs right on through Memorial. Sure, so we're really privileged as a local business to be able to s sponsor such an auspicious occasion like the uh, Steel Pier Classic. And so we have uh, a multitude of events going on, starting with our block party on Friday from 4 to 7 at the store, and then it goes on Saturday and Sunday. It's awesome. I will tell you, I spent some time down there last year, and you guys almost are wrecked like a small city on the beach. I mean, lots of folks coming down there, lots of things to see and do down there. Talk to us a little bit about the surf. You know, right now I was looking ahead at the surf conditions, and we're looking one to two footers, but these folks that are competing are good. They can work with almost anything, and as a longboarder, you know, you don't really need that much to get in some great rides. Oh, yeah, we have great competitions. Um, this weekend we have an amateur longboard shortboard as well as tandem for all ages. We have a retro longboard competition. We have a stand-up paddle five mile race as well as a two and a half mile race. Wow. As well as stand-up paddle um, surf competition. We have a pro nose riding which is new to Steel Pier Classic this year and a pro shortboard and longboard um, which each of those categories has a $5,000 cash purse. Now, I know you guys, obviously, at Coastal Edge, you have a lot of great apparel and stuff, but you saw, you've seen the explosion of the uh, popularity of paddle boarding as well. We're seeing some video, some of the folks out there, the standing paddle boards, and also, you got some tandem surfing going on. You know, what do you say to all of this? There's a lot of excitement down there, and the sport continues to evolve. It's, it's excellent. Well, you know what I love about this event is that it not only has multiple categories of surf, but it has art with uh, Ruka's art pavilion on the beach that exhibits so many high school kids uh, artwork. It has the Bilbon Grom Fest where we have the opportunity to go ahead and uh, explore and discover tomorrow's riders today. And so with the art, with the music, and then you have 50, uh, over 50 worldwide artists on the uh, Surf Art Expo on the boardwalk. So it covers over five blocks of artists on the boardwalk. So you have so much to do over the weekend. We're just grateful to be a part of it. It is really cool, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'm, I'm not getting paid to do this. I'll just tell you, if you guys enjoy the surfing scene, if you enjoy the beach community, that's why we live here. I mean, sure. so many folks do. The artwork that's down there, it's great, and you can purchase some of it. I mean, it's just, it's fantastic. Lots of local artists, and it is a neat way to really deck out your house the right way. Um, check it out. The weather couldn't be better, really. It's going to be wonderful for families to come on out and enjoy. And again, lots of great surfing. Okay. Guys, thank you so Thanks, much. Greg, yeah, thank Great to you. see you guys. And again, weather looks fantastic. We're going to talk some more about the forecast for those storms this afternoon. And we'll have a lot more news coming up right after the break.